to let Schwab tires. I'm a confident backseat driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. Larry, do you have a fallen tree or a forgotten log? Do you have some old wood planks that'll have a story I'd like to tell? Great. They'll mill it, prepare it, and finish the wood for your unique project. Let them take your storied old wood and turn it into a world-class piece of art. Great handcrafted is something that will be treasured for a lifetime. Welcome to STSPN's continuing coverage of high school playoff basketball. Tonight it's the boys, 4A, Division, or excuse me, District 1. It's Lake Stevens Vikings visiting here at Glacier Peak High School at Glacier Peak High School, of course, here alongside John Rasmussen and Ron the Wedge Henthorn. How you guys doing tonight? Doing great, Scott. Glad to be out here on a Friday night for a basketball game. Could be a good one. What do you think, John? Uh, this will be a great game tonight. You know, first round of the playoffs. There's some uh, – Lake Stevens has a little advantage playing earlier. They're, they might not have the bugs or the nervousness, but I expect a good game. The last time these teams played, I think it was a five-point game at Lake Stevens. So uh, let's see what teams come out at the start. Yeah, Issaquah, they won. Lake Stevens, they got the win in the first round, 59-51. Freeman – the Phenom freshman, we've had a chance to do their games. He had 15 points. Pierpoint had 14. McFerrin had 12 in that win over the Eagles. So Glacier Peak, they are on a bye. I mean, they're like they're like the NS, NFC Championship game, you know, champions waiting for the other teams to play. How is that rusty? How do you like that? Um, you know, I think they could be just a little rusty, but I don't think Hunter, Hunter will let them be that way. Um, you know, they're going to be ready. There may be a couple misses early, but once once the ball goes up in the air, it's basketball, and these are young kids, and they're ready to play. Yeah, I uh, I'm talking to Hunter earlier, and I asked him if he was ready for this game, and he said it's, it's not up to me. It's those guys out there got to do it tonight. <laughs> Speaking of head coach Ryan Hunter, I grocery shopped with him today earlier. <laughs> Senior number three. We had a nice chat. Yeah, I mean. Oh, he's, he's a little hope, right? He's always going to tell you the team they're playing is the greatest team ever, and he's worried about them. He should. They were down nine the last time, and that, that game you mentioned, yep. they won 68-63. They're down nine and a half. Yeah. I mean, he's all about sandbagging. Yes, yes. You know, it, it's, as a coach, I think the coach probably gets a little more nervous on games like this for him because – you hope everything goes right, and uh, you just don't want that rubber upset to happen to yourself. And uh, they, can, they can do it, I know, and he'll have his team definitely ready. As you see, Lake Stevens, the Vikings, they're visiting Black Unis, tops and bottoms, the home team. Lake Peak in the white here, and uh, Zach Albright, what a great Albright. That's been the freshman 6'4". Uh, he's been outstanding. Yeah, I see their whole team. I mean, you got the ones that even come off the bench. Contribute and uh, it's quite a team they got. But Lake Stevens, I know if they get some shots early, they'll get confidence. So we'll have to watch out goes just at the start. Glacier Peak, Nagel, Albright, Nelson, and Lee. And we will take a quick break here. We'll be back with tip off district playoffs coming up.
Daniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. Uh. <laughs> All right, back in the Clinton Free Tactical Mr. Crunch playoff here. Ronnie, who is our official tonight? Official tonight are Eric. Heflin, Sunday, and Tony Churlin out there tonight. All right, we'll get all the conversations from the 25-year coaching experience. If you know, you know all the refs. I, I, I actually evaluated Churlin in the early 2000s, and <laughs> I golf with Sean here and there, or Shane, I mean, and yeah. uh, they're veterans officials when it comes to the playoffs. Now you can get some of the better ones if you got some good ones tonight. Next big 20-10 conference. Let's do the final round. And here we go. The one and only tip off. And basketball. Ball. And Nagel gets it off real late, but a quick whistle. 30 second clock problems. Story of our lives. As Gilly turns around and says, What'd I do? <laughs> <laughs> Jolie, the phenom junior, but. Talking to Hunter today in the grocery store, he's like, that's what he loves about this team. It's not just Joe Lee. they got to score, but they can get points from everywhere. And we still got the problems. Yeah. The pressure peak problem continues. Well, They'll get it sooner or later. <laughs> There's usually a lag time, and it takes a while for the clock to wake up, too, I guess. Bob's scoreboard. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Our executive producer, five-tool player, Todd Elvig, Sarah Elvig on camera tonight. They have been a busy crew tonight. The guys in the trucks have been running around town. Uh, you guys were, what, Everett last night? Everett last night and the night before. So and we did yeah. the boys against Stanwood. Yeah, there's nothing but donut crumbs in the truck when I look last. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're tired over there, let me tell you. You had my old team last night, the Everett girls against Edmonds Woodway. So. That's right. And you were talking about you went in for senior night. Todd, so... You said it's tough to go back in the gym, Coach. It, it was tough. Uh, I love those girls. I treat them like my daughters, and they're special kids. And, uh, you know, it wasn't a great year for them, but they've got a good coach coming with them now. And uh, I think in a couple of years, Edmonds Woodley will be right back up there. So I asked you if you're going to go out of retirement because STSBN is going to lock you into a long-term deal here. It's going to be a long game. It's going to be a long game. Uh, it was uh, 74 minutes. Oh. For a live broadcast of tonight's game. With Scott Oshman. Oh, hey, Bob we're getting some pub up. Bob, Bob Blair, <laughs> hey, great hey, Bob. announcer, doing the read for STSPN. That was before we knew uh, oh, yeah, Rasmussen was here. I'm a late addition. I thought he, I couldn't make it. Yeah, what's his name showed up? Okay, uh, come on now. What is going on? <laughs> you never know what's going on behind the curtains. Well, what happened was they didn't get the shot clock started. Then they started it over at 30, and 30 was wrong because they're already down the court. So trying to get it back to where it's not supposed to be at 15, and they finally got it back there. So Glacier Peak has multiple clocks they can use, and maybe they changed it out. I'm not sure. All right. I've got to tell you, this this scoreboard's been an embarrassment. It, it's been an issue since the, uh, the 2000, since 2008. That yeah, has, exactly. I can tell you. All right, we're ready for basketball. Jolie ended Jace Nelson. And 15 seconds started the top clock, but we're down to 10 already. Yep. Quick set. Oh, great backdoor slip right there Long by the Frenchman. Well executed play there. Nice pass. Defensive let up, unfortunately. I love Lake, it. Lake Stevens, okay. no, Lake Stevens paid a little too much attention to Lee, and uh, the freshman snuck the, slipped the screen. It was a beautiful play. There's a fair point for a three ball. Not there. Here comes Cuellar, and he can drive. Oh. I look for both teams to push the, the ball early. And Glacier Peak does a very good job of finishing with Cuellar. McFerrin, the big fella, the senior. He's played well against Glacier Peak. This time he loses. Here comes Lee. 
And he'll draw the foul from Makai Hunter and he'll head to the line. This isn't the start Lake Stevens wanted. They want to come out and get some confidence. And uh, if they don't get going soon, I expect an early timeout by their coach. But well, let's see what happens. Well, again, in my in my long interview today that wasn't planned with Hunter and the store, <laughs> he was just talking about this. But every team, you you know this in coaching, right? Each group is a little bit different. Yep. What you could do, what are you, what are you enjoying about this group is they can create shots their own shots. Yes. Not just a set offense as Joe Lee hits one or two there. So he, he he's that's a little different for him. Yeah. And the teams he's had here is Lake Stevens trying to get on the board here. Pier point. Short rebound lead. Here they go on the break again. Last game, Nagel had 22 in their win. As you see him pop it back out, Nelson for three, short. And McFerrin gets it. Graham. Nobody wants to take it. McFerrin will say, I'll take it. And he watches it. Going there on the number four, Yvonne McFerrin. Big hoop for Lake Stevens to get some confidence. McFerrin. Good ball over too, but I like season, but I yeah, 12 points for McFerrin and the win over Issaquah. Lee, hard to the hoop, and he is fouled by a couple Vikings. Pierre Point goes up there. Makai Hunter could be his second. Yeah, I think you're right. That will really hurt Lake uh, Stevens. Hunter is very, Makai Hunter is very athletic, and if they lose him, uh, they got lucky it wasn't on him. So. Yeah, it's going to go on Pierre Point, his first. Lee right back to the stripe. This time he hits the front end. I think he got fouled by both Hunter and Pierre Point that time. <laughs> Hunter might have been lucky not to get called on it. No. And it's the second one. We'll go through all the scenarios of playoffs here. The bracket, pier point. Nice. Oh. Give and go. Cut. Oh, and Cooper can't deliver. Here comes Albright. Using the body. Oh, baby. <laughs> Didn't look like a freshman on that one, I'll tell you that. Wow. 9-3. Makai, not there, blocked by Lee, now tied up. Okay. 5.15 left to go in this first quarter. Kind of an interesting matchup with Makai and uh, Lee, both left-handers. What's that play on the baseline, John? What do they got? Uh, watch a guy cut down the middle, Hunter, right there. They didn't have him. Albright. Hustle play. And McFerrin pepping up Brady Kierpoint. And this is just Lake Stevens team. They've had, you know, some struggles, but kind of had nights. They took Jackson. We we did a Jackson, yeah. Lake Stevens. They pushed them. Lacer Peak now running a set. Nice. Joe Lee gets cut off. Nelson on top. Ten on the shot clock. Five, four, lead. Johnson. Joe Lee starts hitting the three. This game's oh, be all offense. Over. Oh no. They're gonna. That's gonna be on Jason Nelson. Uh, number twenty-one, Jason Nelson. His first, team's His first, first, team's first, 434 I, left. I thought McFerrin kind of pushed off, but, I, yeah. you know, that was probably the second one. We missed the first run, so. I think you're right on it, Ron. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> <laughs> we got old eyes, Ron. If you're Lake Stevens and talking again, second-year head coach Alex Iverson, you got to get number 11 with the ball. Freeman's got to get involved in their scoring. Exactly. Good cut. Oh, there's travel. High and no call. No foul. No travel. It'll stay Vikings ball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. I think Lake Stevens has to get McFerrin inside and try to take advantage of his size in there, but uh, they're running more a five-out offense. Nine on the shot clock. Nakai. Two lefties. 
Not there. Nagel comes down oh, with it. Fast break. Cuellar. Nelson. Boy, oh, they push, don't they? They do. That was like really it. smart play by Nelson to pull up a cute short jumper. Very self, uh, unselfish, you know. Team play. I, as a coach, you love to see that. He Raymond. Thought he's going to take it. Give and go. Extra pass. Pier point down low. Now they'll swing it back around. Five on the shot clock. Better get it off. Two, one. 30 seconds clock. And Young Freeman wasn't, it wasn't aware. No, you got to give the crowd some credit on that. They couldn't communicate, and everyone was yelling, but he couldn't hear it. So, if the crowd noise is loud in my headphones, is to them. <laughs> I know it is really loud in the headphones tonight. If, if Glacier Peaks scores here, I think uh, Coach Iverson has to take a timeout and settle them down. They've hit the only one three. Here they come. Screen slip again. Is that better? There you go. That time they miss. And here comes Lake Stevens. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Nice play by Brady Beerpoint. Time out. They didn't get it. Iverson wanted a 30. Couldn't get it. Got Hunter on Joe Lee. Jace out front. McFerrin. Nagel thinks about it. Almost loses it. Back up. Albright thinks about <laughs> the dunk and he plays it in. Nice Played pass. It. Played it safe, didn't he? Nagel with a sweet pass. Six points for Albright already. Cooper Graham, the 6'3 junior at the helm there with the ball. Gets it set up. 219 left to go in the quarter. Ty looking for a cutter. Eight on the shot. Eight on the shot clock. Oh, here they go. Off to the races again. What a pass. Turn around and shoot. Got it. Look at Albright. The night for Dandy. It is a two minute. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. by Nick Steven. We're back here. We're working it out. Playoff streaming right here. SDSVM presented by Les Schlob Tire. Glad you're with us. Scott Osborne, Don Rasmussen, Ron the Wedge, Henthorn. Glad to get Rass in. He almost, he almost had to opt out. Then he opted in. I opted out. I was in the portal for a second. <laughs> you were. You were. Late Stevens trying to get something going. 18 5, 141 left in the first quarter. Freeman is what they need to get going. And. That went a little too hard off the back. He got his shot off and still used the board. I'm really impressed by Glacier Peak's lack of size, but they rebound so well. And yet to get the fast break going, you know, they're not a tall team or rely on one guy. No. Oh, there's Allie. Allie. Oh, the dead <laughs> Brady Lee. Lee. I take it Hunter didn't tell you about that play at the grocery store. He didn't, but I've seen it for years. Yes. Cooper Graham oh. caught down low. Another no, possession to the State Lake Stevens. The intensity level is playoffs right now. If you can tell, it, I think both teams have turned it up a notch, and it's uh, it's exciting. Every play has a little more emphasis to it. Not only turn it up a notch, they're playing fast. This is the fast first quarter with a minute four left here. 15-point lead by the Grizzlies. Fair point. Oh, and he just loses the ball. Way on. They finish as well as you'll see in high school basketball. Yeah, Cuellar is one of the best finishers I've seen in a while. He takes it hard to the, the hoop. And he uses the backboard. Yes. My problem. You know, I'm the fan of the backboards. 
McFerrin tries to take Jace, now cuts the double. Oh. Great pass, and he gets caught underneath, and Nagel gets caught in the air. And Makai Hunter will head to the free throw line. As a coach, this is where I would like to challenge him. Well, but you, you can't challenge it. But I, I would be arguing he was on the ground and never shot. Of course you when were. He landed on his You're going to argue everything. Oh, yeah. I, I would I, tell the refs I had the best seat if they need any help. But it, they didn't take <laughs> my advice. There's no logic. No, no. Yeah. That's not part of the job. Yeah. I know Hunter's thinking the same thing. He's <laughs> he's gonna work them. Always the victim. Yes. The guy. Oh, Hunter just can't get a good rebound by Freeman. Cooper thinks about it, cutting Pierpoint. Yes, and Pierpoint's the only one scoring really. Four for him. Four for him. Three from the turn. Fifteen seconds left in the first quarter. They'll play for one. Watch a set play to Lee. Wow, he's going to get the foul right out the back. Yeah, quick foul there by Freeman. Okay, okay. Number 11, Devin Freeman. First team shooter. First foul, 13 foul. This year, the new change. They're even doing it in the girls' game. Yeah. Got to get to five in the quarter and get oh. guaranteed bonus. Joe Lee, four seconds. This time taken away. Pierpoint, 1.2. He doesn't know about it, and they won't get it off. And we head to the second. It's been all the Grizzlies in their first playoff game of 2024. number 10, Brian Tillman, and number 13. In 1934, Bickford Ford opened their doors in Snohomish, Washington, and they've been an active part of the community ever since. So when you're looking for a new Ford truck, SUV, or hybrid, or if you want to take advantage of your current car's value, start at the place you can trust, the one that's been around for 89 years and is Western Washington's number one volume Ford dealership. Family-owned Bickford Ford on Bickford Avenue in Snohomish or online at bickford.net. Second quarter. Back here, second quarter. All kinds of games going on right now on the bracket. We'll get to playoff Ron here in a second. Jackson with a big win over Skyline, 53-50 last night. Jackson 13 in the RPI. Oh, vicious pick down there to get Lee open. And Loom. Jace might have got away with a the travel there. And Loom back in the, in the ball game for the first time, one and White Adam Loom, our player of the game last Friday night. Jace, a long three. Loom. Rebound, Loom. Oh. Can't get it. McFerrin brings it down. I think Loom just signed a football scholarship with Western Oregon. That's a yeah. signing day. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, big time. Some substitutions in for Lake Stevens. You got Freeman in there. Gazaho with it. And Tillman in 10. And here's Gazaho. Tillman's a lot of offense off the bench. He'll put it up. Boy, tough to get any clean looks tonight against Glacier Peak. Playoff oh. loses it. Falls hard to the deck. Here comes Pierpoint. He's hurt. Great hustle back by Glacier Peak. Three guys got back. And Freeman, it just that's well, how it's going. Really he really loses good. the ball, kind of. Unforced errors there. Well, for four games, I've been preaching about turnovers, and I didn't say I'd talk about it once, and now they've had like a couple back-to-back-to-back, I think. That'd be three. I've got the three at full far. 22-7, 6.39 left to go in this second quarter. Isaiah Cuellar, Lillard, the transfers to Mariner. Beginning of the year. Both great on the gridiron. They are going to the central, playing football. Jay spins. Five on the shot clock. Play our deep three. Kicked out, but it's brought in by the Vikings. 
Two minutes, no score yet. Same score as the end of the first. Yeah. Feldman gets it now back over to field point. The senior creates his own shot and he delivers it. Four, Juwan McFerrin. Five for the senior. Quick math, I think that's over half their points. You know what? <laughs> that's nifty right there. Joe Lee from out. three. <laughs> Eleven for Joe. Underneath Gazaho, and he's blocked by Lee. Kai Hunter at the bench trying to check in, but there's no dead balls. Got the juice, not there. Here comes Freeman. Tillman tries to draw the foul. It's not there. Here comes Jace Nelson. Ooh, a little teardrop. A little too soft. Teardrop that wouldn't drop. Run and gun. Here we go. Gazaho from deep, not there. Rebound. Bottom of it. It's going to go to Lake Stevens. A lot of subs coming in for Lake Stevens now. This kind of number tempo zero. game, you got to use it. Number, so. number 12. Got it. Really impressed this first half with the intensity of Glacier Peaks defense. I mean, they're helping, cutting off baseline. Every shot is just about contested. I mean, Coach Hunter's got to be very excited about that. Absolutely, defense a cornerstone here at Glacier Peak in the 14 years. Playoff breaks him down. Playoff! Michael Jordan switching to the left hand. Awesome. Who was that? that? Isaiah Cuellar, Cuellar, three for McFerrin, not there. And this comes Glacier Peak now putting it on, 27-9 with 4.17 left to go. Joe Lee finds an alley. Oh. Tipped by Makai Hunter. Gotten by Lou, but Lou will oh, step out of bounds. Team. And respect there as Joe Lee gets up off the floor. Boy, that was a meeting at the top. That was right there at the summit, Glenn. Yep. And McFerrin, Javon will take a breather here, the senior. He looks that, a little winded. Now, it doesn't now, if they lose this game, there's the whole loser side of the bracket. Yeah. So three teams out of that bracket go. Top two, first and second out of the district. Here comes Albright. Oh. And he picks his pocket. That's very oh, point. Good play by Brady. Brady. That's the second or third time they've just lost it with no problem. I don't know if the ball flops out it. Where? Well, they're calling <laughs> Wolf, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Should have called Wolf. I like the ball's uh, lopsided. That was good. Yeah, there you go. Ball to balance, Glacier Peak basket. It'll stay Glacier Peak. 3.56 left here in this first half. Nagel will take it out. Like to see him go inside to the freshman once, but he pinned it. He had him on. He had the on the block. Fifteen on the shot clock. He's going back inside, trying to get it. He's open. Get there it. he is. Oh. Good defense by Lake Stevens. Timeout, Lake okay. Stevens. Thirty seconds. Timeout. And stay or go. Go stay. All right, we'll keep it right here. SDSPN. Let's look. Let's talk about this. So. Tonight, the winner of this game is going to play the winner of the Redmond-Woodenville game tonight. Now, on the 26th of January, Redmond beat Woodenville at Woodenville 73-65. Woodenville Talk- right now is the higher seed yeah. in this. So. so, so again, talking to Hunter in my long interview, he thinks that's going to be a good game tonight. We'll see if we can check scores at halftime. Yeah, yeah. It would be nice to get some. So, Jackson... Most likely, Mount Sai will match up to Mount Sai in that side of the bracket. That hurts. And that's going to be a tough game. Uh, Mount Sai, I've, I would, I know the RPI has Glacier Peak number one, but I saw another poll today that uh, had uh, Mount Sai as the best of all the well, classifications. Yeah, and I was asking, I was asking Hunter about the RPI, and he said it used to. We were talking about old teams and yeah. comparing this team to that team, and. 
He's like, the RPI just doesn't matter that much because no. they get into the committees, right? You've talked about it. Yeah. And anybody who knows what's going on, they're like, yeah, Mount Side's the number one team in the state. Yeah, they'll have, when they seed the teams into the state bracket, coaches get together and they'll get seeded that way. Freeman goes hard to the hoop and he gets fouled. And the foul is going to go on Cuellar, his first. Freeman's still looking for his first points. There, and there it is. Give a shout out uh, to Lance Harvey. They're watching from Mexico. Oh, oh Mexico. Ole. <laughs> Hello to the Harveys. I'd like to be in Mexico right now. I'm freezing my you know what off. <laughs> Put their what back in your pocket. <laughs> Bounces it off. It's going to stay Vikings ball. You got Sam Waldo, number 10 in the ball game. Hunter's going a little deeper into his bench. 27-10. Freeman needs to get some points on the board here for Lake Stevens if they're going to get back in this game. Yeah, hack with it. They need to, they need their big scores to get, get some buckets. Great spin move, but the defense just as good. Yes. What a matchup. You called it. Hunter and Lee, that's an outstanding competition. Very seldom do you see two lefties guard each other yes. and be two of the better scorers. Canceled each team. other out, right? It canceled yeah. the advantage out. Ten on the shot clock. Cuellar thinks about it. Nagel going to go for three. Graham with a rebound. Luke Hack, the senior. And right in the way is Cuellar. He didn't see the linebacker over the middle. He didn't. He was looking at the receiver. Deep three for Cuellar. Rebound, uh, Waldo. Waldo wants a three ball. Yes, sir! Hey, reward him. He got the rebound, gets it back, puts it in. 20-point lead for GP. I bet Grandma's watching. <laughs> She's like that one. Graham, Hunter on the elbow, and then they get out to hack. 145 left to go, deep three. No black shirts under there for rebound at all. Uh, Waldo's open if he kept cutting. Hack with the steal. Here comes Cooper Graham. Big rebound. Goes back up. No, he doesn't. Freeman from mid-range. No. Just falls off. Oh, Lee had Cuellar behind him, didn't see him. Nagel for three. His first points of the ball game. Had 22 in their last meeting. Hey, Ron, how many threes has GP made? It's uh, They've Four. made quite a few. That's a Four one. shooting well from outside this game. It's four to three in the three-point shooting ba ba battle. Oh, look at that. Joe Lee. Took, took the handoff. Oh, and Hunter gets it. Oh. Well, they didn't want Joe Lee hitting the floor that hard. No. no he pops right back up, though. Uh, Hunter with his second, with 48 seconds left. See if uh, he gets taken out so he doesn't get a third. Spurs. Like Stevens at this point just has to finish strong, get some confidence going into half. It will be key these last 48 seconds, you know. So we the first. Stevens, number four, Javon McFerrin, number 10. McFerrin checks back in. Being number one, Adam Loom. Tillman goes back in, and Adam Loom for Glacier Peak. Back in as well. Hunter bringing in another sub with the freshman. Yeah, here it is. Aaron Thomas. Uh, we haven't seen much of him this year, have we? Well, he's gotten some some playing minutes here and there. Yeah. Senior night, he had some PT in the late hours. Yeah, 40 seconds left to go. Hunter really likes him. Thinks he's going to be a good point guard. McFerrin. Nothing. Air ball. No answer. This first half for Lake Stevens, the Vikings. No, GP has came out with such great intensity, defense, bringing their A game tonight. Joe Lee directing traffic. 
about a second differential game clock and yeah. shot clock and five seconds and, and five double. seconds and Hunter was hot. Yeah. That's a tough call because Julie was moving a little bit, just not enough. He didn't get. It, why don't you explain that rule, Coach? Well, you you got to make a break towards the basket if you're closely guarded within five seconds. They'll call it. And he really didn't. He was leaning, like Ron said, but didn't make a a hard attempt. I thought. Valiant try there, Pierpoint. McFerrin cannot believe he didn't get a foul on that. And as we head to half, District 1 playoffs, boys high school basketball on STSPN, presented by Les Schwab Tires. It is the Glacier Peak Grizzlies, all Grizzlies, 35-10. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a confident vaccine driver, but mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed and breathe out. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab Tires. Sending it big. Oh, oh my goodness. Goodness. In for a good run. Let's go. Come with us to the track, to the trails, to the slopes, to the surf, to the fight, to the race. Look at this. To the 4 a.m. starts. Training harder, pushing further, hitting back hard. To the fans. To the followers and the haters. Come with us to the blood, to the sweat, and the broken bones. You rehab. We never quit. We never give up. We take control. To the world titles. To the world's first. The world's best. UFC strawweight champion. Come with us. We're just getting started. It's going to be so much fun. I promise you. SWIC is an acronym, and it stands for Special Warfare Combatant Craft Crewman. You know, you you can stand across from another guy and say, you know what, he's got your back, and you know that's the guy you're counting on. If, if something goes wrong, he's going to be there. In the end, we're, we're fighting for each other. Here on the team, you know, about 22 of us on the boat. You know them personally, so you know exactly whose life you have in your hands. Everyone's come together, and everyone's sole mission is to do their job individually as best they can to benefit everyone else in the boat. I got a brotherhood, and it's a, it's a real brotherhood, and it's a loyal and honest brotherhood, and that, that's what matters. In 1934, Bickford Ford opened their doors in Snohomish, Washington, and they've been an active part of the community ever since. So when you're looking for a new Ford truck, SUV, or hybrid, or if you want to take advantage of your current car's value, start at the place you can trust, the one that's been around for 89 years and is Western Washington's number one volume Ford dealership. Family-owned Bickford Ford on Bickford Avenue in Snohomish or online at bickford.net.
25 years, Snohomish County homeowners have relied on Home Comfort Alliance for heating, cooling, plumbing, and electrical because of their award-winning customer service. Thousands of reviews reference Home Comfort Alliance as professional, knowledgeable, efficient, and technicians who are courteous, and they take the time to explain things. For all your home comfort systems, call 1-833-COMFORT and make your life more comfortable with Home Comfort Alliance. This is what we train for, every day. We just received new intel that there's an enemy presence at the airstrip compound. All those years. When you're the first to arrive, it's not enough to be ready. You have to be relentless. It's our job to control the ground and the sky, wherever they may meet, even behind enemy lines. They call us one-man air traffic control towers, but we're more than that. Ivy Lima, Charlie, break. Air build is stable. You are clear to land. We turn hell into an airstrip. And clear the way for others to follow. Hey there, laddie. Do you have a fallen tree or a forgotten log? Do you have some old wood planks that'll have a story I'd like to tell? Great. They'll mill it, prepare it, and finish the wood for your unique project. Let them take your storied old wood and turn it into a world-class piece of art. Grit handcrafted is something that will be treasured for a lifetime. McDaniel's Do It Center is located in beautiful Snohomish, Washington. Locally owned and operated for over 40 years, they are proud to provide the Snohomish Valley with exceptional hardware, tools, lawn and garden, and sporting goods products. Their commitment to delivering legendary customer service and their outstanding employees continue to make McDaniel's the best and one of the most recognized Do It Best centers in the nation. Stop by and experience for yourself the difference between McDaniel's and the big box stores. Discover why so many people are choosing to shop at McDaniel's. In 1934, Bickford Ford opened their doors in Snohomish, Washington, and they've been an active part of the community ever since. So when you're looking for a new Ford truck, SUV, or hybrid, or if you want to take advantage of your current car's value, start at the place you can trust. The one that's been around for 89 years and is Western Washington's number one volume Ford dealership. Family owned Bickford Ford on Bickford Avenue in Snohomish or online at Bickford.net. First of all, congrats on the big win. Yeah, thank you. So what was it like uh, getting the job done in front of those rowdy fans here? Yeah. 16 points. Yeah. And great job from the fellow. And we got, you got your teammate here, too. I got it. Siobhan, brother. So Siobhan and Siobhan also had a good ball game with six points. You guys got it done. How do you feel? Pretty good. Yeah. 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 How about that coming out? Say it again.
Back here, playoff basketball. Scott Austin, Coach John Rasmussen, Ron the Wedge Henthorne with you here at Glacier Peak High School, and it has been all Grizzlies from the tip, Coach. Yeah, it's been a, quite a, a showing by Glacier Peak, showing why they were the number one team in West going. They uh, didn't give uh, the, the Vikings much of a chance, and their intensity, their defense, their offense, execution, uh, playing very well. Well, we're getting going tonight, and we're looking uh, all the different playoff games. As we told you, Jackson with the win. They'll say it's Mount Si, and everybody says Mount Si is, is the one to beat. I mean, anything could happen, but Mount Si got a, uh, some scores here. Linden 62, Lakewood 53. No surprise there. Yeah, you got scores going up there, but you know what? The Vikings only scored three points in the second period, yeah. guys. Yeah. And they got to get some help out of Freeman and Hunter this half to, to get back in this ballgame. Girls basketball, 3A, Evergreen 73, Timberline 62. That's a final. Uh, that's way down south, though. Yep. Camus 40, Emerald Ridge 21, and we're back playing here. Cooper Graham. Uh, my prediction, Camus winning the state championship in girls. Early, there. early heads up. You heard it here. McFerrin with the rebound and the putback. Nice play by the senior, Bob McFerrin. Hunter McKay picking up full court on Joe Lee. Uh, it was nice to see Lake Stevens go inside there. They've got to do something to get a little momentum back. Lake Joe Lee leading all scorers with 13 in the first half. Oh, there's that back pick. They had an alley-oop earlier. Oh, my! Oh, my! Oh, Albright. down she goes. Albright could have got called for a foul there too after that shot. Is that the third one? Third dunk? Uh, and we we that's the streak we do have. Yes. Makai Hunter can't get it. Oh, oh my, Makai frustrated as I know he he wanted that. He needs that. We need to get those shots for the Vikings to get oh, the basket. Twenty seconds. Albright, his first. Teams first in the third quarter. Shooting for next season's number five. Brody, here for one. Here point. Okay, here's a little side note. Here's how you know the game. The referees are doing a good job. We haven't recognized nothing. When you don't recognize the referees or calls or this, yeah. they're usually doing pretty good. Knock on wood, now something doesn't yeah, happen. You, that's the announcer's yeah. jink right there, John. <laughs> Brady Pierpoint hits one of those. 37-13. I mean, I gotta watch the referees closer now, John. Right? I know, I know. Jace Nelson bringing the ball up for Glacier Peak. I mean, you know, yes, they've been RPI number one. They're they're the top one or three teams in yep. the state in 4A. I mean, yep. I think that's fair. Nagel with a good fake, tries to drop it down to Albright. Good break up there by Freeman. He hits it out to Pierpoint. Nagel probably should have took that one. Yeah. McFerrin for three. Got it. Ryan Hunter not too happy with that. And the senior McFerrin says, come on, boys. Let's go. 37-16. 6-19 left to go here in the third. Oh. Yep. Oh, going to go on Hunter. His third, third. isn't it? It good. is. Not good for breaking for him to have three. Fouls on number 12, the guy Hunter, his third. It is his third. I IP announcer Bobby Blair. Iverson might as well leave them in. I mean, you can't save them for nothing. Yeah. It's okay for Lake Stevens. They will head down to the bottom side of the bracket here. District still plenty of opportunity for them. That's high school basketball. They're playing for fun. Lee. Look at that turnaround jump shot. Too much this time, but Cuellar bails them out. Cuellar took that away from Albright. Step back. Three. Looks like it was tipped there by Cooper. Going up again. Another oh. offensive rebound. Hunter wants a set play here. Let's see what we do. Nagel, the sophomore general. Cross screen. Plays all right. He didn't get it to him. He got blocked out. Six on the shot clock. Joe. Travel. Hey, travel. Took too many steps. 
Traveling violation, Nick Stevens basketball. Very good defense on him there. Help defense. defense. Boy, Joe Lee, he got shut out in that first half by Jackson, Seamus, Williams, and he he's never looked back. I don't no. think he's been shut out since. <laughs> no. A humbling moment, but uh, some of the best defense I've seen play in a long, long time that yeah. first half by Williams and Jackson. Great pass oh. to Pierpoint. Cooper Graham with a Big magic trick there to get that bounce pass baseline. Hey, Ron, from your angle, did you see a foul there? Yeah, I, I thought, thought I did. I already, Albright hit him on the arm, but he didn't call it. Yeah. You know, there's pure point for three, not there. Cuellar, is he going to push? Of course he is. Stutter step, takeoff, kick. Nagel, three. Yahtzee. Oh. <laughs> that was my saying here at Glacier Peak. Hit the three, it was Yahtzee. All right, I like it. Freeman on a tough drive. He does get the whistle. Foul's going to go on Nagel. Foul's gonna go on Nagel. Second, second foul on the sophomore. Back to the line is Devin Freeman. The score, scoreboard of this game is big for Jason, uh, GP, but you know, this is a fun game to watch. These kids are playing great basketball. They're playing hard. No one's quit. Freeman with that one. That's what's so awesome about high school sports. Yes. Lake Stevens crowd coming in. GP students showing out tonight. Freeman with both of those. GP one score in over three minutes. They're a little uh, flat coming out. I guess Hunter's halftime talk wasn't the best. We'll have to talk to him about that. <laughs> He's just slowing down than he did, huh? I asked him what day does he do his shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, when you go in with a big lead, it's tough to get them uh, motivated. Yeah. Sometimes, I mean, you can Nagel see another three, and that's Yahtzee. Yahtzee. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to pay you a royalty now? Oh, no, no. All right. Is it a full yeah. timeout on the floor? 30. 30. 30. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back. So in. Back here, third quarter, 424 left to go. Glacier Peak, Lake Stevens here, big lead, 40-18. Never really been threatened are the home court Grizzlies. Lake Stevens trying to make a run. may sound silly, but that hoop by Nagel was a pretty big one. It was. Makai trying to get it. He finally gets one to go. First points from a Kai Hunter tonight. Kind of interesting, you know, they're taking Nagel out of the point guard, and, uh, you know, that maybe that's Lake Stevens' little strategy, trying to run something different there. Playing up top. Ten on the shot clock now. Nagel with it. Goes deep into Albright. Cuellar with two on the shot clock. Drive, spin. Oh. Oh, and a little sauce off the glass. Pretty, pretty, pretty shot. Cooper Graham. Frame it. Oh. Hair point right there. Brody. Look out. Nagel. Hunter's not too happy with a no call there for Glacier Peak. Brody loses it. Makai Hunter there. He goes up. No foul. Offensive. Yes, there is a foul, and it's an offensive. That's where it gives Hunter, I think. Yeah. That's going to be four oh. on Makai. He's going to come sit down on this one, probably. Yep. yep. Um, number Sub's number already five, at the bench. A little sloppy there down in yeah. back. Out of control. Trying to play fast, but. That really hurts Lake Stevens losing him. He's such a good defender and just a team leader, senior team leader. 
Vikings come back in this game a little bit this uh, quarter, though, so it's only 20 points down, not a biggie. Nelson's brought the ball up more this game than any other game I've I, seen. Just about to say the same thing. Good minds think alike. Well, you have actual expertise. I'm just a <laughs> hack. Nagel gets hacked. Speaking of hacks, and he hits the deck. He'll go to the line. Fouls at number 10, Brian Tillman, his first. It's going to be on Tillman, number 10, his first. Three team fouls for Lake Stevens. Two for Glacier Peak. Nagel, nothing but net. Nagel's first time to the line here tonight. 100% so far. You know, I really like Nagel's game. He's kind of a glue. He, he makes everyone around him better, which is a fun as a coach to have. He's, you know, nothing flashy, but he makes everyone better. Hunter real high on him as well. Talking again, it's just over the last 13, 14 years, you get a sophomore to be your point guard. Yeah. That's a big deal here in this program. Blake Stevens still working their game plan of inside shooting. Brody, four seconds on the shot clock. Rebound. Freeman back out to McFerrin. And here comes Quayock. Oh, could have been a reach foul. Traffic. Let that one go. Nelson open. Goes to the ball. Nelson, one, maybe two. One pass too many right there. Yep, yep. Like the same pass, I know that's good. Two minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Doubled up, 44-22. Tillman in the corner, doesn't get it. Drive, not there. Freeman playing hard. He's helped up there by Joe Lee. Hey, a real quick shout-out. I think uh, Lake Stevens and Glacier Peak play tomorrow night girls up at Lake Stevens. That's right, yes. After an unbelievable win last night. by the, Unbelievable. Uh, Maybe at the break we'll see if we can pull up that un, that incredible last-second shot. No, we can't. Lake, I tried to send it to you, but I couldn't find it. Yeah. Glacier Peak won at the buzzer against court. Uh, Issaquah. Yeah, quite a play. If you get an access to a Facebook page of Glacier Peak girls, might be on that, but it's uh, quite a play. Ryan Hill's got to be very happy with it. Albright, little hook. Oh. You kidding me? The baby, the baby hook. The type of dandy has a type of hook. <laughs> Twelve for Zach Albright. One of the bright spots here this 24 campaign. McFerrin turn around, not there. Brody still fighting for it. Now he's doubled. Tries to hit it off Albright. Albright, oh, not there. Goodness. What an athletic play by the freshman. Sure. Nagel saves it. Oh, good control, too. Didn't get carried away. Oh, oh this time. Freeman. Freeman, three on two. Goes in the middle. Not there. Yeah. He's going to get bailed out by a foul on Jace Nelson. The Lake Stevens fans, they have not much to cheer about, and they like that call. You know. He's going to the line, too. I didn't, even, uh, I didn't think he was shooting yet. I'm proud of Hunter for keeping his cool on that one. The referee that made that call was not didn't have a good angle in my eyes, but uh, you know what? They're not perfect. They're going to go on Joe Lee as Freeman hits that. Three for three for bringing the second half here. Freeman. That freshman's got a bright future. I know Coach Iverson, real excited about him. Had a, a great season. 41 seconds left here in the third. It's amazing how now these freshmen are coming in, even on the boys' side, getting playing time. I mean, Hunter never used to play a freshman. And if you're a sophomore, you're a lucky. Uh, yes, exactly. Tillman with a great hustle play. Can't come up with it. And to your point, I mean, they're down 46-24. They're still playing hard. They are hustling. You're playing. A lot of grit by the Vikings. Again, they're they're still in it. Yes. Well, you're a high school kid and you're playing in this game. You don't know you've lost until the game's over. <laughs> yeah. 22 seconds left. Oh. Nelson up top. Where that horrible chant comes up near the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My most most hated chant as a coach. I bet. You what do you mean? You blocked it out, John. You couldn't hear the fans. I didn't. I didn't. Hey, we had a game here at Glacier Peak. 
district championship. Shorecrest started the chant. Come back. We won it in overtime. Oh, look so. at that. Look at that. I tell you what, that's a prime delivery by Quayar right at the buzzer. We head to the fourth. Hey there, laddie. Do you have a fallen tree or a forgotten log? Do you have some old wood planks that'll have a story I'd like to tell? Great. They'll mill it, prepare it, and finish the wood for your unique project. Let them take your storied old wood and turn it into a world-class piece of art. Grit handcrafted is something that will be treasured for a lifetime. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a confident backseat driver, but Mom's a little stressed about spending. Remember, breathe in. Now watch your speed. Good. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Help keep drivers and backseat drivers safe with Les Schwab tires. Back here, talk about old school, Coach Rasmussen right here. I still get a couple papers on yeah. Sunday. That's called a newspaper. You hold it in your hand. It's not a phone. I'm, a, I'm old, old school. <laughs> hey, Lay it out on the table and uh, yes. drink your coffee and read the articles. What's little, the quarterfinals here, Ronnie? A little bit of victory there for the Vikings. They outscored uh, the Glaciers 14-13 to 13 in that third period. That is a victory. So. Baby steps. Tiny victories. Here's Nagel. Good defense there by Freeman. And to Lake Stevens' credit, they've slowed oh. Glacier Peak down. Oh, you can't leave him alone. That's Tip. it. Oh. And he gets the and basket. one. That was an ankle breaker right there by Lee. Beautiful. He missed it, but he followed it right back up with the tip. His first team space. It's going to go on McFerrin, his very Joe first here as we're starting the fourth quarter. Joe Lee up there. First points in the second half. Lake Stevens with that sideline break, but they just get it there and then don't have nothing after that. Cooper Graham shoots it out. Tillman he gets it tipped, I might add. McFerrin can't get the bunny. Good defense by Albright. A lot of pressure down there on McFerrin. Normally he would make that shot. Very smart by Albright. Stayed straight up. They couldn't call nothing on him. He was perfect just, defense. Just standing there next to him. Yeah. Cuellar stops. Oh, Nagel. Not there. Nagel couldn't get the handle. It'll be Lake Stevens basketball. Here comes uh, Makai Hunter back in for the last 7-11. We'll see how long if he can go without getting that fifth foul. So Glacier Peak, they're going to have... A home game, again, either Redmond or Woodenville. Trying to find scores on any of the things. A little challenging here inside the gym. Freeman, nice take. I think I know the answer already, but Hunter didn't say who he would like to play with, did he, in your little conversation? I, <laughs> I did. I, I tried to pin him down on that, but as you can imagine, having known him for a long time, he had no comment. <laughs> I, I can tell. <laughs> He wasn't going to comment past this game, that's for sure. Never... I said, don't you like your side of the bracket? Oh, Joe Lee God. gets it. It's the roll. Did you see that ball just spin right into the basket? Yeah. The magician. That's a little mustard. You got just a... enough sauce. You got a nickname for him? Is it? Yeah, 3D. 3D Lee. He can get, hit you from anywhere. Gotcha. I like that magician, though. Yeah, that was a magician. So, uh... I said to Hunter today, I said, don't you like your side of the brow? Would you rather be Jackson? And he said, I don't know. I, I don't like it or not like it. I wouldn't mind to be, you know. I said, but then you got Mount Sai. His point is, right, at this juncture, you want to play the best in the district. Yes. Because you want to you want to get tested. Yes. Because it serves you down the road. But you'd rather get tested in the district championship. <laughs> when you're you're guaranteed the state play yeah, on a move already. So. Well, well, you know, if he ever retires it up here in the booth, he'll tell me that. Oh yeah, yeah. But when he's between the lines, he's not going to say anything. Exactly. 
I tried to butter him up. I said, can I get you more soup? <laughs> he wasn't biting. He wasn't biting. You're going to have soup for your Super Bowl fun? No, no, he was getting soup. Makai Hunter misses that. It's oh. just been a tough night for Makai. Great save by Tillman. Freeman with it. Freeman! Oh. Look at him fighting. All oh, right, comes up with it. They're still fighting. No call. Oh. Down there on the ground, oh, tug at war. Oh, okay, oh, whoa, oh, things oh, are getting a little height. Oh, and Tillman oh, pushes Jace. Uh, keep it under control here. Get the team back sections. to the right now. This is... This is an AD's nightmare, as you can see. Oh, no, this is not what we want. You see Roe out there. Yep. And Iverson. Oh. There was one, I don't want to call out people, but it looked like a late shot there. And that's well, uncalled for. Understand that frustrations are high. Yeah. 53 26, 5.50 left to go. Rip. Refs are letting them go. Right, right. Okay, I there's pros and cons to that. Yes. They shouldn't have let that go quite as far there, as that one did. I but. would not be surprised if there is an ejection here. No, they they uh, they whistled it right away. Yeah. It was just already too late. It yeah, they up. couldn't get there. As you get both ADs. I, Iverson was even trying to call timeout. Yeah. So. And Iverson knows. and. So, but uh, the referees will talk it over. It's a veteran staff, but... I would not be surprised. Well, we're, we're so conditioned. You watch college, yeah. and, and you, they have replays, 700 things. Now, we have that sometimes that we can do. But they can't go to the booth and go do a replay, and we can seven angles. So yes. lots going on in real time, yeah. trying to get their composure. There's young men. They're fighting. They're I think scrapping. You called it, too, with the emotions. That's the tough part. You know, they are young men, and... You're so into the game, it's very tough. So. And we were just saying how Lake Stevens not giving up. They're right. flying for balls, they're hustling, they're yeah. giving everything they got. I'm very proud of both student sections, yes. the crowds. Uh, great effort by the security and everything else here to right away. And we got a action. replay right here. As you see Freeman go up. And here they could have called a foul right there. Yeah. Pops it out, and here's where the scrum starts. Albright and the refs already Freeman. blowing it dead. And yeah, they're trying to stop it. They've stepped in. Watch right and there. And that's that's the one. Tillman gets Jace. Now we don't yeah. know what happened down there. Yeah, we don't know what's said. We don't know anything about it. I mean, this sounds horrible, but it was a late push. I, yes, it I'm was. Glad it wasn't a punch throw. Yes. I mean, that's not that a push is good, but uh, you know, it's uh, an emotional game and. Uh, it, it happened, but uh, the refs are getting together with the coaches. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were. This athletic is, directors. Right. I, that's what I was thinking. Right. So you were, we were just talking about the, the retired uh, Judkins, the yeah. Glacier Peak AD. Boy, these ADs, I'm telling you, they got to work there at everything, every single night. Yes. Yes. It's tough. And they got extra administrators here and, uh, you know. I see the athletic director across the way for Lake Stevens, Jason yep. in front of his student body. So, you know, uh, hopefully they take care of it. There'll be some boos or nays when they do announce this, but it's, uh, yeah, you know. And on the flip side, we've seen both teams help each other up off, yes. the, off the floor. So, And these guys all know each other. They play off, to, you know what I mean? Shoot, they're what? Five, eight miles apart. You well, know, that, but they all play yeah. off season. The select yeah. teams, the AU teams, they, they, all these kids, most of them know each other. Yeah. So, John, what's the worst thing that can happen here? Can you put yeah, somebody what, out of the game here? Or do you... They could have an ejection. And the problem with ejections, you have to, don't quote me on this, but you got to come back. You could be ejected for more than one game. Yeah, is and it like the first another, half of the next one? Well, now you're thinking the targeting, but you're oh, close. Sorry. But no, no, no. You can appeal it. And okay. Any technical, a double technical. Uh, you know, Todd, I'm thinking, you know, you got to sell your services as the replay so they can go to the booth. <laughs> no, and, then, you know, I'll be honest, it happened so quick. It's yeah. tough to tell. No, it is. The, the, the one that stand out is Tillman pushes Jace Nelson. Now, that, again, we don't know what, why. Right. But that's the one that is most blatant. Yes. I'm watching Iverson not happy. No one's going to be happy. No. He's going to talk to Tillman now, I think. But, uh, 
It's, and a, it's a tough thing. Both ADs here are, are administrators. It Roar, makes me want to turn the uh, replay on. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. And, oh, are they, are they, they might be watching it down there because if you can pull it up. They, they could be, actually. And, and, it looks uh, like they might be. They could, Yeah, they can go to the stream, yeah, right? Uh, you guys want to think so, but I think they're just talking to the scorekeeper. Oh, okay. Well, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, no. now. No, they're watching. They're looking at it right now under the hood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think so. They're, I think I they are actually I, talking to them. Yeah, I, I think that, that would be, be unfair. A, a WIA violation. Yeah, that would be unfair. Sort of, what, to go under the hood? Yeah. yeah. No. They're just talking about what the... They may come back to it later on the appeal process when you can see it well, and you guys do such a good job of filming it. It was very open to us. Oh, it's tight. Yeah. We got all of it. You got Sarah Elvig on camera. I mean, we, this is there's this is there top will, shelf here. I believe there will be some technicals at least handed out. I think there'll be. And you see. I hope there's no ejections. Yeah. That's, that's the kid may not be able to play the next that's, game. That's uh, Roy well, Rosenbaugh. It slows down the game a lot. Right. Yeah, it does. Roy Rosenbaugh heading back. He's our, the AD here at Glacier Peak. Longtime head football coach here in the first. Hey, looks like uh, years, Freeman's going to stay in the game. Uh-oh. And McFerrin's going to. Oh. Been ejected, no? I don't leave know. McFerrin. Leave Freeman? the gym. Also, so, Freeman. And Freeman's going to take That's a tour. Cool. Interesting. Interesting that those two, that McFerrin and Freeman. Gentlemen, now should be called on number four, Blake Stevens, Javon McFerrin. Javon McFerrin. Devin Freeman. Technical fouls on Freeman. Now, see, that's interesting that, that Tillman, the guy that we saw push. At the very end. At the very end. Interesting. There was something happening at the bottom of the pile. Yeah. They didn't They didn't call an ejection, but I wonder if those two guys are, they sent them out to cool yeah. off or something. It was just one technical, what I heard. Right? No, two. I mean, two. but on each player, not yeah. a double yeah. technical. So they shouldn't be ejected unless you had two technicals. So. No. You know, this is where I hope, I mean, the coaches have talked to their teams, but <laughs> you want no one to get hurt and uh, yeah. calm down a little, you know. Jolie missed the first two of the technicals. Let's see what he do on the third one. Right. He made it. Wait, oh, oh, now we got the parents that are heating up in front of us. Oh, well, Lake Steven, obviously frustrating. Yeah. Now, the other thing is in the districts, right? You've got the teams that are in the state. There's only five teams in the conference, and they get to play the, the, the team in their conference the yeah. first game. I hated that. I mean, I went yeah. to state, and I played Ken Roberts in the Dome, <laughs> and it was our fourth time, I think. Yeah. Um, it was like I come all this way to Tacoma to get to play him there, you know? Back to basketball. Nago yeah. out front. Luke Hacken, number one. Uh, Hunter bringing in some subs, which I yep. think is a good idea. Yep. Giving some guys some rest at this point in time. Back out to Lee. Lee got, has Tillman on him. Pushes out. Jace in the paint. And fouls. And I, I expect the fouls to be a little bit more yeah. <laughs> aggressive here. Fouls on number five. Really pier point. It's third. That's going to be pier points third. Fourth. Going to line to shoot for Glacier Brody. Jace Nelson. Jace Nelson to the line. Four team fouls on Lake Stevens. 5.23 left to go in this ball game, and it was just cruising. And then we, we got put the brakes on there with the skirmish. The free throw percentage has fallen way off here. Right? Yeah. Correct? yeah. Adam Lund back in the game for the Grizzlies. And here comes Thomas, yeah. Aaron Thomas. Hunter is subbing i think trying to get some of his players out in a kind of a tense situation i think it's a very smart move yeah that yeah. last drive by joe lee kind of put the pressure on a little little possible another break down there you know so uh, here comes nelson out also waldo. you're up what 30 yeah so waldo comes in number 10 aaron thomas four adam loom and nagel and quayar for glacier peak Guy Hunter uh, finds Graham. Graham gets fights for the rebound, goes back up, and he gets the foul on Waldo. You know, it's been a really nice game. Uh, so I mean, playing, I hate to see one little incident, incident put a cloud over it, you know. Super Graham. 
Foul goes on Waldo. Cooper Graham at the line. The junior, and he hits that one. It's his first points of the night. Yep. 5.08 left to go in the game. So stay tuned. Look at all the social channels, YouTube, STSPN. See where the truck's going to show up next as Graham hits that. Next Tuesday night here at Glacier Peak, they will face either Woodenville or Redmond. With a chance to go to the district championship, the winner of that will go. Yes. Loser of this game will be playing also yep. uh, on that same Tuesday night. Play we'll, are in the we'll corner. We'll be here. Yeah, six on the shot clock. Double pump. Doesn't pay off. Here comes Makai Hunter. Four fouls on Makai. Uh, he just can't get it to drop. Oh. Good defense. Great hustle again. Brody. Tillman ends up with it. Luke Hack tries to struggle. Good defense by Waldo. You know, Waldo held this position, stayed straight up. That was great defense by him. Nagel can't handle it. Pierpoint just chucks it. Luke Hack. And Lake Stevens gets a bucket. 6-1 senior Luke Hack comes in. Four minutes to go. If you like Stevens, right, you get you don't like this loss. It just no. doesn't feel good. Everybody knows it. They played him tough by five last time. They had hopes coming in. But it's okay. Aaron Thomas to the uh, line. Pretty finish. But it's okay because they have plenty of opportunity. Yes. Thomas, 5'7". Yeah. Like another Isaiah Thomas. Ooh, hey now. Brody. Takes it in, good defense again. Doubled, nothing easy under the rack tonight. Quayar. Oh, that's bumps. a block. That's yeah. a block. You can Hack takes it down, and they say he's okay. Watch Thomas helping the kid up. Yeah, that that's going to go on Luke Hack. Yeah, Isaiah White, he's uh, his Instagram gold. Game for Who? For, uh, Isaiah White for, for uh, Everett. Three. Yeah. Oh, for Everett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes to drop those. We <laughs> are. Oh, yeah. This is the front end. Yeah, Glacier Peak from the free throw line hasn't been if they, ideal tonight. If they've done anything wrong, I think it's free throw shooting in yeah. the fourth quarter. Uh, Hunter keeps clearing the bench for the last three minutes. Into the game. Quayar coming out. Yep. Justin, Nagel, Nagel, Justin Vincent. Nagel coming out. Yep. A free throw Bencher. shooting in the fourth quarter of seven for 11. That's not terrible. I guess they look like they've multiplied just. Yeah, look. Looks worse than that. 309 left to go. Stay tuned. We'll have our adrenaline fundraiser player of the game interview. Brody tied up. Just has to get it. Out of his hands. Here comes Adam Loom. Going back to Loom, and he mistimes it. Oh, Waldo and Loom. (laughs) Having a little fun in the last minute. The law firm of Waldo and Loom, they wanted to make a highlight reel there. Wasn't quite high enough. No, I think it was too high. (laughs) But it wasn't quite real enough then. Graham spins, fakes. Back out, Hunter. That's the best. Three ball. Finally, Makai gets one. Only five points for that young man. Makai hasn't even been shooting from out there all night, though. Iverson's still got three guys on his bench that haven't played. It'll be interesting if those guys, kids get a little action in district. So. Number, 12, Number 12, Justin Vincent, the sophomore, gets a bucket. I know, yeah, I know as a coach, it was always fun to call somebody up for districts. You would have a JV player that came up, and those kids would be so excited, and even some would get in the game. And it yeah. was, uh, as a coach, what a great feeling for yeah. them to get to put on that varsity jersey and get in a game, possibly. Ball to bounce, Glacier Peak. Had a turnover, and that's plagued the Vikings all night. 61 33, never really that tight of a ball game. So who's, 
Tom was talking about that last night, having the uh, JV guys come up and yeah. play. And he says, you know, you, they were talking about if you if, if you get a score, you know, you're in the book. And and uh, Boyer was like, yeah, you get a foul, you go in the book too. So either way, you're in the book. <laughs> well, we're talking about newspapers. They used to put box scores in the yeah. newspapers. I I met the paper boy a few times in my youth, in my playing days. Oh, yeah. And here they come. Stay. Here Play comes some of the subs. Yep, here we go. And this is great. This is neat for these players again. Gabe Salas, number 24. Number two, Gabe Salas and Daquan Walker, number 24, in to get some time. Makai Hunter takes it. Brody Pierpoint takes a seat. Those young men are disappointed. Understand. Here's Venture down low. The 6'5 senior. Oh, my! Hey, you know what I really respect is Iverson down there coaching. You know, the, the game's out of – I've been there. Yeah. And you keep coaching. Yep. And, you know, good coaches do that. It's And you watch other ones that kind of quit, sit down – and he hasn't quit coaching. He's going to coach to the final whistle, and the players respect that. Salas tried the three, and then Tillman ties up Venture down low. Into the game for Glacier so, 22. Ronnie and Go Coach, who do you want for your player of the game? Tough call tonight. Get somebody new in there. You'd like to spread it around. <laughs> <laughs> the obvious one is Jolie, but, you know. I don't. I can't. Honestly, I think it was his freshman year when I did a game and I gave him play of the game. But I haven't, in my short stint here. Yeah. Well, we're negotiating with your agent right now. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I came out of the portal for you. Yeah, that's so right. I'm back <laughs> I love that. Short-term <laughs> deal as usual. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys get to decide who's our adrenaline fundraiser player of the game. I thought he was very instrumental in the first half to get the lead and go in. Uh, Albright's also played very well, and he's been. He was our. I think he was our player game last time. One of those. I mean, we've had Loom and uh, Clay yep. are the last two. So. Yep. What about Reed Nagel? I'm just throwing names out for you now at this point. I already told you I love the kid, so I've you know it's, he's had a couple threes and he's got eight points overall. He, he's yeah. in there. But he was a he was instrumental in defense, right? Yeah. 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 Student section. Starting to celebrate. Aaron Thomas cheering them on. Here's Venture up at the line. You might want to go down there now, Ronnie. That one rolls off. Jacob Venture, the 6'6 senior. What number? Who do you want? Uh, didn't we say Reed Nagel? Yeah, go yep. with 11, Nagel, number 11. 11. 11. Venture gets it, and the crowd loves it. Back to the other side. Tillman. Floats one in. First bucket of the ball game here for Brian Tillman. Thomas with it. 57 seconds left to go. And out of bounds. Good hustle, good defense by Tillman. Smiling and clapping. Cooper Graham bringing it up. 51 seconds left. So Linwood will play. Linwood. I'm sorry, not Linwood. I saw the I saw the black and gold. Lake <laughs> Stevens, not the Royals. Just trying to look. Lake Stevens. Yes, on February 13th. Look to see who they're going to play. Thomas. Um, they'll probably they'll play. Won't they play the Woodenville Redmond loser? Yes. And uh, Lake Stevens is a lower seed, so it'll probably be at either Redmond or Woodenville, not knowing who's won yet. Lake Stevens was the four seed coming out of Wesco, and they pulled the upset against Issaquah the other yeah. night. So. Thomas gets it. Third point for Thomas tonight. He's going to be happy with the fourth one. Not quite. Spins out. Venture rebound, yes. Back out to Thomas to reset. 25 seconds left in the game. This was always a tough one for me as a coach. You want to say hold it, but these kids don't get to play, you know? So Venture, right, for three. The put back up by Posey. 
I always had a problem with that, you know, because you there's sportsmanship, but these kids don't get to play, so it's always tough, you know. Jacob Doman in the ball game for GP number 22, six one sophomore. I don't know if you want to take the foot off the gas in the in playoffs. No. Well, I'm just saying there's a sportsman thing when yeah. there's a lot of teams won't shoot at the end, but it's usually when you still got your starters in and they kind of sit and talk and dribble out the last eight seconds or something. So Posey misses the front end there. GP will be playing next Tuesday in this gym. Yes, they will. So wait and see. We Maybe we'll hear before we go off air. Thomas, two seconds. Back to Doman. And that's it. 65 to 35. Stay tuned. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back with our adrenaline fundraiser, player of the game, the sophomore, number 11, 511, Reed Nagel. In 1934, Bickford Ford opened their doors in Snohomish, Washington, and they've been an active part of the community ever since. So when you're looking for a new Ford truck, SUV, or hybrid, or if you want to take advantage of your current car's value, start at the place you can trust, the one that's been around for 89 years and is Western Washington's number one volume Ford dealership. Family-owned Bickford Ford on Bickford Avenue in Snohomish or online at bickford.net. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you have fun out there tonight? I did. It was super fun. Super fun? That's yeah. great to know. Well, congratulations. You're a adrenaline fundraiser player of the game tonight. Now, you have come on. We talked about it. I actually ran into your coach at the grocery store today. Oh, and I yeah? said, boy, it's rare. And Coach Rasmus has been around the program for years to get to have a sophomore yeah. to kind of be the floor general mm -hmm. in a Brian Hunter program. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty big deal, young man. Yeah, it's pretty scary. It's pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> you but you seem it. to be more comfortable with it as the year has gone yeah, by. Yeah, the year has gone by, I've been pretty comfortable. I mean, as like uh, when we first started, I was super nervous. I was super scared, but now I'm, I think I adjusted. You I, look really look pretty cool out there tonight, though. Yeah, thank you. I kind of noticed that it seemed like Lake Stevens tried to take the ball away from you bringing it up. And yeah. And brought it up more. Yeah. That's a compliment to you. They yeah. respect you and tried to take you out of the game as a coach, ex-coach. I love your type of play. You're Thank very you. good at it, and uh, I called you the glue that makes everyone else better around him. So, Thank you. Great game. Thank I mean, you. you're not the one that's going to get the 25 points, yeah. but you make the great passes and assists, yeah. and uh, great game, and that's why you're our player Thank of you. the game. Now, you, you dropped 22 on these guys last time. Yep. So are you feeling it? Sometimes there's just some teams, right? Yeah. It depends on the matchup. Did they, did they match up the same tonight? Yeah, pretty much the same. I mean, first time... First time we matched up differently, but then second uh, second game we matched up differently. And then talk about the second half. Obviously, you guys had a pretty sizable lead the entire game. Yeah. But Lake Stevens kind of slowed you down in that second half. Yeah. Was that talked about by the team? Were you guys trying to push it? Well, we were really just trying to play with ourselves. I mean, we weren't trying to force anything. We were just going to play with the game. I mean, that's all I can really say. Yeah. <laughs> Last question, maybe we'll get you out of here on this how fun is it to play with Quayar? It's All great. Right. He, All these big guys. They're amazing. Guys. They're amazing. They're the best teammates I could ever ask for. I mean, the transfers are amazing. Zach, a freshman, throwing down dunks. Yeah. It's nice. Now, now, are you guys going to tease each other? Now, the, the uh, Loom and who else? Loom and they were trying to get that alley-oop dunk at the end. It didn't yeah, work out. No, I, I wish it went down, but no. <laughs> so you can enjoy the win tonight. Yeah. Hunter's got you practicing tomorrow. What time? Yeah. Probably 8 a.m. 8 a.m. practice. Yeah. Oh, you watch any tape? Uh, probably not. Probably not, but getting ready. Actually, huh? definitely. Actually, no, I think we're we'll watching tape. You usually watch tape, yeah. knowing Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> I got one last question. I'm not going to make you answer it, though. Have you? Do you know either team very well, Woodenville or, or Redmond? Uh, or Redmond? 
I don't. I, I watch a little bit of Woodenville, not Redmond at all. Okay. I don't uh, want you to say who you want to play because then you'll make give them yeah. uh, some. Uh, According to your coach earlier today, he, yeah. he knows all about both of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he, knows, does. he knows everyone. I know he, he does. Everyone. Yes. <laughs> Hold the shirt up in front of you here, my friend. And Absolutely. You got you got your crowd. You got your, your entourage here with you. <laughs> you got your friends here, too. On. Reed Nagel, our adrenaline fundraiser, player of the game tonight, a big District One playoff yep. victory. Parents, your parents? Do we got a parent? We got our parent. Get one of my parents. There we go. Never hold this shirt up here too. There Thank we you. are, the proud parent of STSBN grit over here. Here, <laughs> proud parent of the night. Here, say something good about your son. <laughs> Very, we're very, very proud of him. Worked very hard at his basketball. He's a team player. I know he does a lot for the team, and um, you know, just very proud of him. Very proud. Hope we can keep this thing, keep it, keep it going. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna be proud of him for the rest of his time, I bet. So. <laughs> Fantastic, big victory here. Is give a shout out to the camera here. Fantastic year so far. Good luck the rest of the way. We'll be here next Tuesday night. Nice. Against either Woodville or Redmond. Good luck. Yeah, absolutely. Great to meet you. Good to meet you, too. And for everybody in the truck, absolutely. Everybody in the truck for executive producer, five-tool player, Todd Elvick, Sarah Elvick on camera. Around the way, Tentor and Coach Rasmussen, Scott Rasmussen saying so long. 65-35, Glacier Peak moving on. Right on.